How's it going, everybody? Borna AK Hog here. It was a great victory last night against the San Francisco Giants. Yet the storyline of the night was Jerkson Profar's neck, face, head injury, whatever you want to call it, against the San Francisco Giants as he had a nasty collision with CJ Abrams. The storyline, though, is not really about the injury itself, but how awfully the injury was handled by the San Diego Padres medical staff. So let's take a look real quick, everybody, at the video of the injury occurring. And I'm kind of going to break down the process of the actual play-by-play -play and how the whole injury was handled. So as you guys can see, it was an absolutely just brutal collision between Jerickson Profar and CJ Abrams. We take a look at the replay here. That is some gnarly whiplash suffered by Jerickson Profar. Prayers up. He got a scan at UCSD. All signs showed. Hopefully it's just concussion-like symptoms but gnarly gnarly whiplash you're looking at the neck you're looking at the face there nevertheless everybody Profar is literally at this point he's on the field he's laying down for 15 minutes almost until they bring out a cart okay that's the first thing before we dive into anything else it took the Padres this dude literally couldn't move at first 15 minutes to bring a cart the whole process of how this medical staff and doctors handle this, they need to be fired. I mean, th th it was just so ridiculous. I'm alarmed, okay, that the Padres allowed Profar to move a muscle, let alone stand up after an injury like that. It took forever for the injury tar cart to come out. So we take a look at a situation like this. Profar's just laying around there. And then you think, okay, what's next? Step number one should always be to immobilize the person immobilize Profar. That should be the goal here. But what did the Padres do? They literally start tilting his neck around back and forth. Like, and this is from the, this is from a doctor. What are they? He's like, he's like, stop. What are you doing? He's like, stop. That hurts. You know, like, what are they doing? Well, number one, whenever you're suffering from a neck injury, you have to immobilize him. You have to be able to just make sure the neck isn't moving, tighten it up, get out a cart. But no, what they were doing with him laying on the ground is they were literally tilting his neck back and forth. What are they doing? I mean, this is ridiculous stuff. I mean, this is this is year one of medical school stuff, and I ain't even a doctor. What adds insult to injury is this. The doctor didn't even come out, okay? The team doctor didn't even come out until the third time in which Profar fell. They, they, first of all, at this point, when he's after he's down on the ground for a little bit, they try and get him back into the dugout. He's walking a little bit. You can see him grimacing here. He's in a lot of pain. Head trainer Mark Rogo right next to him. There's not even a hand on Profar. There's not even a hand on Profar. And look what happens. They're letting this guy walk. He just collapses. You're telling me he didn't faint, Bob Melvin? I mean, this is an awful look. An awful look for the San Diego Padres here. They have no idea what the hell they're doing. At that point, Rogo's like, look, he points over to his guy, and he's like, call out the team doctor. They call out the team doctor. They see Jerkson Profar is, is fainting, and that, I think that's a faint. And then they call out the team doctor, and then they're like, let's go check him out more. And they start moving his neck around. Chat. Comments. Listen. Not only they shouldn't be moving this guy's neck. You should be stabilizing it. You should be getting him into a stretcher as soon as possible and sending him over to UCSD. It took the medical staff 15 minutes to get him stretched off the field. The actual main doctor didn't even come out until the time he fell down. This is a bad look on the emergency operations staff. This is an awful look on the team physician and training staff. Okay? And they have to immobilize Jerickson pro far. Now, I'm not going to spend too much more time on this, but I've had enough. This medical staff, we complain, why are our guys always hurt? They're, they're running this as poorly as this organization's ran right now, Padres fans. And listen, I try and tell you how it is. If you always want me to be positive, it ain't the right channel for you. We need to demand better from this organization, Padres fans. Not just from the you know front office, but from everything top to bottom. That was an absolutely ignorant, stubborn, and quite frankly, disheartening way to handle a catastrophic injury. Guys, consider this. Consider if the injury was even worse and then they started moving his neck around. 
that could be career ending stuff remember ricardo lockett on the seattle seahawks they kept moving around his neck he had a lot of neck injuries done he's out of the nfl this could have been a lot worse than it was and this training staff they shouldn't have their job too much longer Spinner Boy Hog, I want you to let me know what your thoughts are on this whole debacle down below. And I'm signing out. Peace.